What did Abraham Lincoln's assassination look like? On the evening of April 14, 1865, Abraham Lincoln was attending a play at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. The president's box was located on the balcony level, providing a clear view of the stage. A Confederate sympathizer, John Wilkes Booth, slipped into the theater's backstage, silently making his way toward the presidential box. You see, at this point, the president's bodyguard, John F. Parker, should have been ready, but unfortunately, Parker was given permission to leave due to a perceived lack of threats. Thus, Booth approached Lincoln from behind and fired a single shot into the back of Lincoln's head, severing his spinal cord. The sound of the gunshot startled the audience, causing confusion and panic. Booth then leaped from the president's box onto the stage, shouting the words, Six Semper Tyrannis, thus always to tie as he landed, Booth managed to escape through a side door, leaving the theater and disappearing into the night.